When do I punch out? I'm just gonna grab an eye opener, okay? Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Politics, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company, but the deal's being held back by red tape. Not to mention the profits I'll lose on tariffs. I was hoping that you could help. So you can't get your deal made and decide to blame the politicians? Well, let me tell you. Red tape's there for a reason. So men like me can cut it, understand? So why should I help you? Think about your constituents, Senator. If you help me move this deal forward, it'll bring jobs to America. Jobs that could come to your state. And isn't this a re-election year? You think I need help getting re-elected? Truth is, Dominic, the good people of Nevada love me. What they don't love is lazy Italians coming in, setting up shop next to decent, hard-working folk. You're missing the bigger picture here. Will you be a senator forever? Pat, you could be president. And what better way to do that than to bring opportunity, not just to Nevada, but the whole West Coast? Think you're the first one to sweet talk me? I got lobbyists up the wazoo telling me I should run for president, and they also got some deal that'll make me rich. So what's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. See, it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? No, just you and me. No one else needs to get a cut. That's why I want to move fast, before others get involved. So I need to know. Are you in? Or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you. I can make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom? Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I... I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left... is our friendship.